Hello and welcome to the 8th uh, tutorial in the series of tutorials looking at working with Zeb Modeler. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can use surfaces and using the Select and Single tool to create extrusions. What the hell's an extrusion are you asking? Well I'll show you. This is a truck I'm working on at the moment and as you can see on the back here I've created like a panel look just turn that round. That's better. Now then, that is very easy to do. It looks a lot complicated, but it's actually, like many things in Zeb Modeler, very easy once you've got got to grips with how to do it. So let's see how we do that. Let's get rid of that first. Right now, before we can create any extrusions, we have got to have something to extrude. So let's create a surface. Go into the create mode. And select surface. Uh, you've got choices here, but either drawing triangles or quads. I always find it's easier just to do quads. You need these four items selected to ensure that the UV map is drawn for the surface and that the, it's easy for it to put a texture on it. Once we've got those selected, choose grid. Uh, you then have another couple of choices of how many columns and rows you want for your surface. Uh, obviously that's entirely up to you, but for this purpose I'm going to use 10 by 10. So what we do then is we, uh, we uh, maximize the front view to make it easier. And then to draw your surface, simply left click hold, pull the mouse down and across for however big you want the surface obviously that should be fine and there uh, you have the surface now before we can select faces to extrude we need to go into the face view mode and click on our surface and now we can see we have access to the faces each individual ones and we can now use a select and single tool to start choosing the faces we're going to extrude. Now for this exercise I'm going to create a letter C in this surface and we do that by simply right clicking to select a face, right click again to deselect. So let's select those. It's a big C is this one. <laughs> Could be the Mediterranean, and uh, we keep going until we've got the faces we want to uh, extrude selected. Once that's done, we can close the select menu and minima uh, go back to the normal four view viewport. And I always find that it's easier to actually do the extrusions in the perspective mode. Let's just get that a bit nearer. That's better. Right. Now obviously you can see there that I've got it upside down. Bear with me. There we are. Right. Now then position your surface to such an angle that you can actually see the highlighted squares but you can also see whether the extrusion has taken place or not. Now to extrude. Uh, we go into the uh, modify menu, the sub mesh menu and choose extrude to do the actual extrusion but before we do that I've just noticed that the surfaces normals need calculating that's why it's all black so to do that switch back into object mode it will still remember your choices afterwards go into the surface menu choose normals and select calculate and click on your object that's better right now we can return to our choices and there you see it has remembered which ones we picked out so that's better Let's get the uh, surface back into line, that's it. Now choosing the modifier menu, sub mesh, and then extrude. 
Now, obviously, if you want it nice, crisp, clean, perfect angles on this, you might need to find your own way to do this, which is better than this, which I don't I'd, I fully expect it to be. But this is me doing this, so we're doing it my way. <laughs> right, we're ready to extrude. Make sure that the x-axis is on and the y-axis is turned off. Right, here we go. Left click and hold one of your highlighted faces and move the mouse to the right. You can see the extrusion happening there. Now that's for one. If you want, obviously we didn't want one because I'm an idiot. So we undo that and we turn selected mode on so that we'll move them all this time. Here we go. That's better. Then we release. Deselect the menus. Let's have a look at it. And there we can see we've carved a C in the surface there. And that's how we do extrusions. That's how panels on trucks are created and uh, all kinds of other fancy work on models that you wondered how the hell did they do that. That's how they do it. See you in the next one.